Hey everybody, welcome to Therapy Thursday. After last week, whenever we started discussing habits, I thought it would be smart for us to talk about different routines and even bedtime breathing that can help you get better rest and also relax you throughout the day. There's a few different breathing techniques that I teach my patients pretty consistently. The first one is to think of and picture roses and then close your eyes, picture the roses, and then smell the roses. So we're going to smell the roses and we're going to blow out birthday candles. <sighs> Anxiety essentially is a change in your breathing pattern. So what happens is your breathing changes, which then signals to your brain that there's a threat. And then your brain starts to flood your system with cortisol, epinephrine, norepinephrine, and all of your stress chemicals. Whenever those stress chemicals start to flood your body, that's what puts your body into fight or flight mode. And if you're in fight or flight mode and you don't flee nor fight, then those chemicals sit on your brain. And what actually happens is they start to change the pathways and then the neural pathways that are in your brain. So you begin to only know how to cope with something the way that you've always coped with it before, because that's what your neural pathway shows you to do. So by taking in a good deep breath, whenever you feel your anxiety go up, or if you're having trouble getting to sleep at night, that's going to automatically lower your heart rate lower your blood pressure, and it's also going to take your anxiety down by an increased percentage. Another breathing technique that I share with all of my patients is called 478 breathing. If you would like to watch this in real time, I actually learned it from Andrew Weil. He is a medical doctor out of Arizona. And if you go onto YouTube and choose Andrew Weil 478 breathing, he will actually walk you through how to do it. I'm going to do that with you now to give you an idea of what that would look like. So with 478 breathing, the most important thing is to keep your tongue on that fleshy part right behind your teeth. You're going to work to keep it in that yoga position the whole time. So the way it's going to look is you're going to exhale all of your air. Then you're going to keep your tongue in that spot and you're going to inhale for four, hold for seven, exhale with a whoosh sound. And as Dr. Weil says, it also helps to purse your lips some and we should hear that whoosh. Now you're going to do this for four cycles of breath. If you do it for more than four cycles of breath, it's going to possibly cause you to hyperventilate. So be very mindful. You don't ever want to do it for more than eight counts, okay? So, and this is something you must practice at least twice a day. And then after four to six weeks, you may begin getting more comfortable to where you can use it for things. So this looks like... And then you would do that for three more cycles of breath. This is also very helpful in going to sleep. I've had multiple patients tell me that they use it before they go to sleep and they fall asleep within two minutes. So this week, let's work on some bedtime breathing. Try something new, do some meditation, or do a breathing technique that I just went over with you. I hope you all have a great day and I'll see you next week.